What's going on, everyone? So Max Christie is expected to have a much improved role. Um, based on reports, one of the reasons Darvin Ham was fired, it was a, a collective of reasons, don't get me wrong, but one of the reasons was the underutilization of Max Christie. Lakers expected Max Christie to have a real role last season. And for being honest, the Lakers needed him to have a big role last season. But for whatever reason, Darvin Ham just loved to play Tory and Prince 40 minutes a game and Cam Reddish 40 minutes a game. Never gave the, the young guy a real opportunity. And he was very good for us. Some of our best lineups were with Max Christie in the lineup and in the rotation. The guy shot like 40% on catch-and-shoot threes. The guy showed the ability to make plays and do a little bit of everything, right? This is a guy that I am incredibly high on, right? Like, I'm higher on him than most, right? And I just, I have a lot of belief in what Max Christie can provide and bring this team. This is a guy that for a career is already 38% from three-point range, 40% on catch and shoot threes, and he was that both years, so that's just who he is. Now, again, the stats don't really jump out at you, but you also got to keep in mind the guy's only played 13 minutes a game, um, and not every A, right? And very inconsistent, right? Like he's had games where he started and has gotten 30 minutes and actually played well, and then he's had games where, you know, he's DNP or he's only playing in garbage time or whatever. It's hard to really find a rhythm. It's hard to really know what somebody is capable of doing when there is no level of consistency. When a, a player doesn't get the a fair opportunity to consistently get minutes. You know, like, and so we've seen Max Christie and his ability to knock down the open shot, create for himself, create a little bit for others, but also be able to defend. And that's the that's the biggie. There is a genuine argument that he is our best perimeter defender not named Jared Vanderbilt, right? Jared Vanderbilt is obviously up there. And look, there is an argument for Gabe Vincent. There's an argument for Cam Reddish as well. But Max Christie has shown his ability to defend and defend at a high level, right? He did a number on guys like Damian Lillard, um, even Devin Booker, right? So I am, I'm very high on his two-way potential. I think bare minimum, he could be like, you know, a KCP type where, He's just basically your 3 and D style two guard that can defend multiple positions, defend at a high level, but also knock down the open three and, you know, occasionally make plays for yourself, make plays for others, right? We'll see. Still incredibly young, 21 uh, years old, and the Lakers, and particularly J.J. Redick, are expected to give Max Christie a, a huge opportunity, and he is supposed to play a very big, specific role this season. And we got reports about it as well, per ESPN's Brian Windhorst. So, Los Angeles Lakers guard Max Christie is going to get a chance to play a lot in the 2024-2025 season, according to, again, ESPN's Brian Windhorst. So, he said, their big signing was Max Christie. <sighs> okay, we'll talk about that in a moment. <laughs> uh, Windhorst said of Christie, they signed him. To that contract with the intent to play him a lot. Uh, so they're going to play Austin Reeves. They're going to play Christie. So again, made an apparent, they're going to play Austin Reeves. They're going to play Christie because Austin Reeves is the other guy that we keep hearing reports. JJ Redick has a lot of just game in store for Austin Reeves and are expecting Austin Reeves to have a big role, but we'll get into the Max Christie part. Um, I want to talk about, you know, D'Lo and Reeves, though, right? Because here's the thing. Could Max Christie slide over and play the three? Yes, but it's not ideal. Again, he's like 6'6 six, six with shoes on, but he's he's big for a two guard. He's would be great as your two guard, right? Even a starter. I've made an argument, and I think that there is a legit, I don't even think it's like, super debatable of starting Max Christie and bringing Austin Reeves off the bench, right? Going D'Lo and Max Christie, that way you get that youth, that athleticism, the point of attack, again, still get 40% shooting. Um, and Austin Reeves, his numbers show he is actually better off the bench. He gives you the exact same production, just on better efficiency. Uh, and it's not even close, right? Like, so 
again, I, I just think that you look at the numbers, you even look at the eye test, you look at all of it, it's actually a, a very compelling argument. But they're not going to do it. They're going to play Austin Reeves. They're gonna, like, four out of our starting five, I am almost... I am like 99.99% sure. I don't want to say 100% because you never know, but D'Lo, Reeves, LeBron, and AD are your four locks, in my opinion, right? And then now with Jared Vanderbilt and him potentially missing the season, um, you know, Christian Wood also, who's going to slot in at the three? Now, there is the argument to go with Max Christie, right? Again, I just, I don't like that. I think on... Many nights, right? On many nights, I do think you can get away with Max Christie at the three. Um, but I just think you, you need a little more size. I just I, I, I would almost prefer going with Cam Reddish at that point. Yeah, you don't get the shooting, but you just get more versatility and size and length on defense and potentially even better rebounding because of his size and length and athleticism. Um, you know, I, I do think J.J. Reddick will run at times, both or all three, D'Lo, Reeves, and Max Christie. I know some people are going to say, oh, three-guard lineup. Every team in the league runs three-guard lineups. All of them. All of them. It's just, it depends on the guards. Right? There's a big difference. The thing is, a lot of people have this bad taste because, you know, a couple seasons ago, we had like Russell Westbrook, Patrick Beverly, Kendrick Nunn. It's one thing when you're running three six to six one guys. It's a big difference when you're running three, six, five plus guys, right? Like, it's okay to run three guards when all three guards can shoot, do multiple things on the basketball court, and actually have some size, right? It's another thing when you're running three guards that are all six foot, right? Like, now you're just undersized. So I could see at times where Max Christie is slotted at the three, Reeves is at the two, D'Lo is at the point, um... I just don't know if that's something that you should run heavily, right? Obviously, it depends. You know, can Austin Reeves be better defensively than he was last year? Um, he was actually good on Jamal Murray in the playoffs, right? But can he consistently just, again, he's not going to be elite. He's not going to be locked down. He's not going to be this, like, all-world defensive guy. But can he at least be serviceable enough to hold his own? If Max Christie can shoot, you know, a, a good volume at 38 to 40% plus really be engaged defensively and also do a better job of rebounding the basketball, which, you know, he gave you two rebounds a game, again, in limited minutes. But if he can uptick that to, like, four or five, then I, I think you can get away with it more than otherwise. But you just, like, Max Christie is going to play. And I am very high on Max Christie. I think Max Christie is going to, to be a big piece on the Lakers for now and the future. I think he is your starting two guard sooner rather than later. I think he has the potential to be the best player on the Lakers in three to five years. Obviously, LeBron will be gone. AD will be gone. We're talking about particularly the young guys. Like, I think, you know... Max Christie or Austin Reeves, I think it'll be Max Christie every time, right? I just think, I think he's going to be very good two-way player. I think at worst, like I said, he's going to be, you know, your, your KCP type where he's able to defend, knock down the three. Um, you know, I ideally, you know, if he could be kind of like, um, I don't know, like a Mikel Bridges type, you know, where he can kind of, where he can just, yeah, he can he can be a three and D guy and slot in and play that role, but he can also go and make plays. He can score, um, which we've seen Max Christie be able to do. We've seen him be able to put the ball on the deck, get to a spot, elevate, shoot over the top, right? Like I wouldn't, I also wouldn't be shocked if he's a star. I'm not talking about like you know, top five player in the league or anything like that. I don't even know if he'd necessarily be an all-star because the West is just so stacked with guards. But I could see him being like, you know, a, a real just high quality player where you're like, oh man, this guy is all-star level. You know, like West is just so stacked with guards. He's just not going to get the opportunity to be an all-star. But, you know, like think of like a Jamal Murray, right? Like Jamal Murray, you know, he's an all-star level guard. 
but he's never been an all-star. Like, I can see Max Christie potentially being that. And obviously, I'm not talking about the style of play, because Jamal Murray's much different style of play than uh, a Max Christie. I'm just talking about, like, to give you an idea of, like, what I'm talking about when I say all-star level. Like, I think Max Christie could potentially be, at some point, if given the role and opportunity, a legit two-way player. Right? I think he could be a legit, like, hey, he can go and get you 20-plus a night, plus he can, you know, defend the best player on the other team, and you know, make plays for himself, make plays for... I just, I'm very high on what Max Christie's potential could be. And he's still only 21. I mean, we just drafted a rookie who is expected to have a big role and play a big part this year, and he's three years older, right? So Max Christie is young enough to have been drafted in this year's draft. I mean, his brother was just drafted, right? So, look, I am... I believe that Max Christie has a real potential to be a, a real factor as soon as this year like I think we could look at Max Christie this season and go man like this dude really really did wonders for this team because it's just the defense the scoring all of it but anyway as always this is a discussion past question on you let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below what do you think how feel what are your thoughts first are you high on Max Christie um, are you excited for what he's going to bring this season? Two, do you think that he'll actually play a big role and he'll have a big part? Um, do you have concerns about him being your third guy? You know, I mean, it also begs the question, like, you know, with what Brian Windhorst said, does it signal D'Angelo Russell getting traded? Like, is that something? Because, look, he's expiring. I imagine at some point this season they're going to trade D'Lo. Right? So... You know, at, at some point, does Max Christie end up moving in the starting unit? You know, and it's like kind of you go like, let's say, I don't know, say Jeremy Grant, right? Just use him as an example. At some point this season, do we see like Reeves, uh, Christie, Grant, LeBron, and AD? Is that something that we could potentially, I, I wouldn't be shocked. wouldn't put it past it. Um, you know, and then how do you feel about Max Christie potentially being like the big free agency sign? Again, however you feel. Whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. It helps me a lot. Let me enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one.